Uh, so, where should I begin my story? First of all, I recently got a job as an intern at a small company while attending a special high school. And from school, I had a friend who I hated most. He always spread false rumors, making my friends turn on each other, and never was sorry for what he had done wrong. Well, he was already a celebrity at that time. But this dude and I eventually got a job at the same company. Because I had the complete opposite character of him, we had a lot of fights at school. However, after I came into the company, I tried to control myself as much as I could and understand him no matter how much he said stupid things. My friends ended up calling me Buddha. But the incident eventually happened two weeks after my first day of work. I can't tell you the specific details to protect the company's privacy, but his mouth was absolutely a disaster. Our school teachers had to come to the company. We both had to have a face-to-face -face talk with the executive director, and we even had a call from the education office. I got so angry. I couldn't bear this stupid situation anymore. I ran down to the first floor material storehouse, confirmed that there were no people, and spat out all kinds of curses calling out his name. Shit, I'm gonna blow off your head, you son of a... But it was the biggest mistake of my life. The warehouse used to be a place where people didn't come very often. But when I looked back casually, he was there. He was just staring at me. My heart was pounding, and I felt like my head all stopped. Holy crap. There was a bleak silence between us, and I could feel that awkwardness in my bones. But soon, he just turned around and then went out of the warehouse. Feeling sorry, I thought he got hurt feelings, so I followed him. I called his name several times, but he never looked back and just walked down the hall. At first, I felt sorry, of course, but come to think of it, it was literally all his fault, and he had a responsibility to fix this problem. So why should I apologize to him while being ignored by him? All of a sudden, I started to be outraged at him. I stopped there and I screamed at his back. He suddenly stopped walking and at that moment, I was like, oh shit. You know, I mean, we're still working for the same company right now and I can't make a mess of my plans in just two weeks. So I apologized to him to ease the mood by calling my friend's name again. Then he turned his head slowly and oh, well, I still can't forget that creepy memory until right this moment, writing about this incident. To tell the truth, uh, I'm about to go crazy. His neck slowly turned toward me. You can believe it or not, his body was standing still in the same position, but only his neck slowly began to turn. A loud crunch sounded in the hallway as if his neck bone had broken. And I just watched it, blankly. He was staring at me with his mouth closed and his neck turned slowly and slowly. As he turned his neck, the skin around his neck began to twist. And when he finally turned around for about a turn and a half, his skin tore with a tremendous sound. The blood rose like a fountain and his neck dropped on the floor with a loud thump. Then his head rolled towards me and stopped at the tip of my foot. Looking down, I could see his head showing with all his teeth, and he was smiling brightly at me. When I saw that horrific head like a broken tomato, all the cells in my body were screaming to get away from there as soon as possible. It was someone's footsteps that broke the silence that seemed to last forever. And only then, I screamed frantically. My colleagues told me later that they could hear my voice on the second floor. Well, I can't imagine how loud it was. Anyway, I could feel someone shaking my body violently not long after. The next thing I knew, the executive director, the section chief, and everyone in the company were looking down at me with a surprised look on their face in the hallway. I was sitting on the floor before I knew it, and he was gone already. I was taken to the hospital right away that day because I spit blood on my hand while coughing. I couldn't remember how big I screamed. And while I was explaining the whole story at the hospital, 
I heard something incredible. One of my colleagues told me that my friend was working in his place at the time, and he was even so busy that he never came down to the warehouse on the first floor. I, I couldn't believe it. Eventually, I took a week off from work and got a psychiatric consultation. And five days have passed since then. I heard that he was dead. On the fifth day, the director came in early in the morning and opened the door of the company as usual. While he was working in the office on the second floor, he heard a loud bang in the hallway. And when he went outside, he found my friend had hit his head on the marble floor and it was all smashed. He died just like that. Later, when the director checked the CCTV at the police station, he found that my friend quietly climbed the stairs while he went into the office and closed the door. He just stared downwards for a while and jumped off. Now, I guess the director must have been shocked. He eventually had to go to a psychiatrist for a while. When I came back to the company, there was only silence inside the company, which was unusual. Anyway, I was just playing with my cell phone while I was writing this, and I just got a call from the chief. He asked me if I came down to the first floor on Saturday morning while I was on my alternate work. I was working on the second floor in the first place, and I couldn't go down to the first floor until lunchtime. So I told him I didn't. But then he said something strange. He was smoking in the outdoor parking lot that day. Then he suddenly turned his head toward the warehouse window on the first floor. He said that I was standing inside and staring at him quietly in the dark warehouse. He continued to say that I looked at him for a while and then disappeared. At first, he didn't want to say anything hasty, but he finally called me thinking about my friend who died a few days ago. Well, to be honest, I'm in a panic right now. I mean, I've calmed down to some extent, but I'm still scared. There's something I didn't reveal while writing earlier. I remembered it just now. When I'd seen my friend's fallen head that day, I actually saw the face coming toward me. It was neither my executive director nor the section chief. It was me. I could see my body walking toward me with only my head turned back. So, the reason I screamed was not that I saw my friend's fallen head. I screamed at myself. My parents have gone on a trip right now, so there's nobody at my house right now. Now, what should I do?